Tonight we're starting out with a video of uh, out of Bowie Middle School in Odessa going viral in all the wrong ways. A shocking altercation between a student and a teacher leading to first degree felony charges and an arrest. Tonight the Ector County Independent School District is responding to the video and looking to the future of safety in ECISD for teachers and students. Christina Burgess is here to break down the district's response and Christina, what do they have to say in this matter? Well, Alex, for starters, there will be following the student code of conduct. I have the chance to speak with the district superintendent, Dr. Murray, who says incidents like this one will not be tolerated. Now, I do want to warn you that the video we're about to show you is graphic. It's a video you've probably seen on social media over the past 24 hours. The original Facebook post shared over 3000 times, and even though it's barely 40 seconds long, it's a difficult video to watch. In it, you can hear an eighth grade Bowie Middle School student and his teacher arguing over a phone that she confiscated from him. As the video progresses, you see the teacher refusing to give it to him. Then the student becomes physical, shoves the teacher, hits her multiple times, knocks her head against the desk, and knocks her to the ground. A violent incident that ECISD Superintendent Dr. Murray said will not be tolerated in this district. Uh, specifically it, with, with students involved in a situation like this, you know, our, we have an obligation to follow our student code of conduct and in this situation of violence is not tolerable. Specifically, this was an assault on a teacher and so we will certainly use our, our every avenue uh, legally to make sure that this type of situation uh, doesn't happen again. All of those pieces are in place so these incidents don't necessarily create a policy change. It is effectively using uh, the policies and procedures that are in place. And so a fidelity of implementation, if you will, making sure uh, that we're implementing those policies and procedures effectively. And he says while they make sure their teachers are equipped with what they need, he wants parents to do the same with their children. You know, clear rules and expectations of children and of adults uh, as well, but uh, that needs to be clear. Our, our families need to understand those so that moms and dads can have conversations with kids about those rules and expectations. And then we have to equip our teachers Teachers, um, and those that work with our children uh, with the knowledge so that they also understand uh, the rules and expectations and then how to implement those and enforce those within our campus. So that that's and as for the teacher involved, the district is fully supporting her. Uh, we're providing full support uh, to that teacher to make sure uh, that that she feels confident and comfortable uh, to return to work and, and continue to educate kids and 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 we will continue to support her and her family as we navigate this situation. And according to ECISD, this eighth grade student involved has been arrested and charged with aggravated assault of a public servant, which is a first degree felony. Alex. Christina, thank you. In parts of that video, you can hear that the student and the teacher seem to be arguing over a confiscated phone, which does align with the school's cell phone policy. And that says that students can have phones, but they must be turned off. The policy states that cell phones can only be used when students are outside of the school and failure to comply with the policy can result in the phone being confiscated and picked up at the end of the school day by a parent.